What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got another 32 inch upright going out to Connecticut. This one though, it's got a smart TV in it. It's been an awesome week so far. Last week I didn't post a video, but this week there's gonna be a ton of videos. If you take a look at the garage right now, this is insanity. So we got one, we got two, we got two and a half. There's actually an add-on to this one. We gotta talk about this right here. And we got a V-pin. There's so much going on. There's so many videos to come up with. I gotta tell you about my Facebook Marketplace find. It's insanity. But on this one today, we're gonna be talking about Al from Facebook Marketplace from Connecticut his 32 inch Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls themed 32 inch upright arcade. This is running a Pandora's box 18 S pro on it. Awesome stuff. Just like all the builds. And honestly, you know, I've been doing this for so many years and it's kind of always difficult to like adapt to change. Um, breaking news as far as the 32 inches, anyone basically purchasing now on the 32 inch TVs that I used to get, which are insignias, they no longer make them now all the insignias that i put in which is a 32 inch insignia tv will have fire tv smart tv capability the pricing i do on these uprights they are fairly low i meet a lot of customers a lot of people and like vic your pricing is so affordable that's why we went with you and unfortunately now with this kind of new tv that they let me backtrack the insignia i used to buy from best buy was about a hundred bucks it was a 720p, it was all, it was no smart, it was just a 720p LED TV. Cost me about a hundred bucks. Now, unfortunately, they do not make that anymore. They don't make the Insignia 720p TV only. They now have the Insignia Fire TV Edition. This TV now clocks in at about 160. After taxes, you probably pay about 170, 175. Um, it's not gonna reflect my pricing too much, but just so like anybody that understands, when it comes to like arcade builds, Hardware is a big deal. Um, you know, what I mean by that is the price is reflective on the stuff inside of it. So basically, if you think about it, I have one customer, if you remember way back, I forgot the gentleman's name, but he's the one that I basically built the arcade cabinet for him and then he's putting everything in it. He went and got like an expensive 32 inch monitor. That was the one that had like a trackball, had a PS3 and eight button layout on it. Um, you know, he went and spent money on a monitor, 32 inch monitor, I think he told me he paid like 400 bucks for this monitor. So, you know, to keep the price and the cost down, I do use specific hardware. So again, on this one, I didn't upgrade the price because sadly I discovered that the 32 inch TV that I normally get is no longer available. I'm not gonna push that onto the customer, but at least from this point on, I will have to add about 60 bucks to my regular retail price for a 32 inch upright. Couple of pluses and minuses when it comes to the smart TV stuff. Um, you know, it is smart TV cap It is smart TV compatible now, so it's great. You could do you know Netflix on it and all that. The only downside, and I'm gonna have to make a separate tutorial. So the pro is that you have Fire TV, you have a smart TV, awesome. The downside to it though is that the TV does not turn on once you give it power. This is a very big heartbreaking thing. I do like to kind of walk around the cabinet just so you can kind of see it. This person is a heartbreaking thing, um, but I did find an alternative. Um, basically, long story short, when I plug the TV in, anytime you get a new TV, it does ask you if you wanna keep it in store mode. If I keep this in store mode, it does power on once you plug it in. If you do switch it over to a smart TV or a regular home use, that feature is no longer available. I do not understand why, but basically once you put it into home mode, it will no longer automatically power on once you give power. Now, to some people that might not be a big deal, some people it's a huge deal, like me personally, like, again, a lot of these cabinets, 32 inches with Pandora's boxes, that you do put them in a lot of retail spaces. Uh, you got the green room, you got a pizzeria that I got. I do put in a lot of retail space. So basically, you know, a customer just wants to plug it in, call it a day. If they do want the Fire TV or the Smart TV features, now you're gonna have to just turn the remote on, which to me, it's like, it's, it's a downside, I don't like it. The only TVs that I know of, which you're going now into the V-Pin world, like my V-Pin, is Samsung's. There might be other brands, but I am a big Samsung freak. That's actually what's going on into this pin. I'll discuss it later on because I do have a very big announcement when it comes to V-Pins. But you could kind of see right now, we do have 
the 4K 50 inch Samsung. That TV 100%, even with smart features and even with like regular home use, that powers on right when you give power to it, just like my actual V pin. So I've basically learned that Samsung definitely powers on once you plug it in. Insignia was my main go-to and it still is. There are like TCL and LGs, which I'm not, I, I would have to buy each one and test it. I just, I don't have the time for it. I do like my Insignias because they do last long, again, 24 seven kind of screen turn on. Insignias are pretty great on that. So now if you remember, I did one 32 inch micro center cabinet and they gave you a Westinghouse TV with it. That TV was where I discovered like the importance of plugging in a TV and letting it automatically turn on. Those Westinghouses are cheap. They do not power on. So once I found out that my regular insignia was no longer even available, it was like in Brooklyn and I was like, I'm not gonna go to Brooklyn. There was only one in stock. I was like, I now have to basically adapt and try out the newer TVs. So this 32 inch specifically is running the insignia fire TV set right now to store mode. I'll go into a whole no another video and we'll talk about the modes. But for right now, let's take a closer look at this awesome Chicago Bull Michael Jordan themed cabinet. So just a quick story on this cabinet here, we got Al out in Connecticut. Yes, I'm driving tomorrow morning, going out to Connecticut. It's about, I think it was like 90 miles out. Um, not too bad, it's about an hour and a half away, which is awesome, I don't care. Customer paid, deposited, everything. This is ready to go. I will drive out to Connecticut if I have to. Al found me on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Hit me up, loved everything about it. He did tell me that he had a regular Pandora's box control panel and uh, he just wasn't a fan of it, meaning the buttons on those and the joysticks on those are cheap. And yes, I do gut those and I use the software for it, but we gave him real good buttons and joysticks, sand was and all that. So he basically found me and said, hey Vic, my son's birthday's coming up. It's actually on the 31st. Today's like what, the 27th, 28th? And uh, basically it's a perfect birthday present. Um, on this one, he did want Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls, retro Chicago Bulls. I'm not, I'm not big on sports, I'm sorry. Um, there's a whole, like, I, I don't know what year it is. I think it's on the opposite side. We'll go a closer look at it. But real quick, I wanna talk about the MJ side, the Michael Jordan side, because shockingly, there is not much Google images for Michael Jordan. Like, I do have like a whole kind of routine that I do when it comes to Google images, because I do search Google and I do find Google images, and then I basically make the artwork out of those images. So, shockingly, not much, not much for Michael Jordan. You probably got maybe about like 50 or 60 like high quality pictures. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out and he definitely loved it too. Again, he wanted retro Michael Jordan stuff. So on the left side here, we got Michael Jordan. Um, on the marquee here, he did want, he's like, hey Vic, my nickname is Rock. And I was like, perfect, let me use that. So I put in Rock's Arcade, I made the whole little logo for him. And then on the right side here is the whole Chicago bean, uh, yeah, Chicago beams, Chicago Bulls red-sided theming. So as you can see, it's C red. And I'll bring you in closer, obviously, because you guys don't like selfie mode. But let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls theme on the bottom. So I figured, let me talk about the Chicago Bulls side. So we got the red. I found a nice little abstract, red and black with like the arrows. Pretty cool. Um, Chicago Bulls like red it's like an orangey red so you it's it, it worked out pretty cool especially on the side art um on here on the bottom he did want a team photo um does it say the year no it does not but it is the chicago bulls dream team all time i mean you got a couple of main people obviously you got mj you got pippen you got rodman on it you know he kind of wanted that not really current bulls I guess like, you know, legendary bowl character, bowl characters, bowl team members on it. Uh, looking at, again, Pandora's Box 18S Pro. Let me go back to the left side on the MJ side, which is, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. This I thought was awesome. I think I did great. Found a great picture of Jordan with the trophies, with basically like, you know, the banners on the top with all the years and stuff on it. Then I basically cut it in half, got this nice little blend going on. Nice little dunk. Obviously, you got the Jordan logo. And then here I was pretty happy with was the three photo collab. Three separate pictures. You could see how I blend in. You could definitely see like the erase on it. I'm not a Photoshop expert, but I do like the way I blend stuff. Um, it's amazing what you find that on YouTube. So this is Jordan's side. Very nice. I do like it. Um, he definitely loves it. He's like, Vic, 
you know, a lot of people just tell me Vic Jordan, and then it's up to me to now like figure out an idea um, to make it work. We're gonna be talking about this in another video, which you're looking at a LeBron James theme that's gonna get his own video. Um, but this one again, we're focusing on MJ, and you know, there's a lot of ways to do artwork. There's a lot of ways to do theming. My job is to just make sure the customer likes it. So, you know, sometimes you do see a bunch of, I should say, layers. This one's not too bad. You got a bottom layer here. This is one solid picture. And then basically you got second layer, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like, you know, you kind of see it as one big image, but Photoshop nerds will understand what I mean by the layering on it. Um, basically, you know, this is this layer is above this layer is above this layer to get the eraser in and all that. Again, Jordan side is pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the marquee. His big thing also was to make sure it was the 23. Again, Rocks Arcade, I made that for him. I thought about, you know, the flaming basketball. And you got the Chicago Bulls. Same thing in the back. You could see the red and black abstract I went with. Kind of always get like the background to go along. So background there is really the same background here, just modified. Bezel's awesome. Chicago Bulls. I didn't want to go too crazy with Chicago Bulls. Like when I make artwork, I try not to overload with logos and stuff. So I do think it, it came out pretty excellent. I'm really happy with this, the way this came out. Michael Jordan, nice little dunk on it. And then the two Chicago Bulls. Um, your actual control panel, seven button layout. Again, Game Room Solutions. I don't know why. I always make the artwork for six. They gave me seven button cutout. Customer said it's A-OK -okay because Galaga is pretty cool with this. But then again, we do have the dedicated four-way on this. So honestly, again, seven button is linked to button one. It's the same button. Um, you know, it's pretty unique. It's pretty cool. Really, this is supposed to be Neo Geo style. But on a Pandora's box, there's only six buttons to pick on that. Again, dedicated four-way, three buttons. I did chrome trim buttons for basically the main stuff. And then I did non-chrome for the center four-way, which looks pretty cool. Again, Chicago Bulls big, 23 with the Jordan, with the Jordan, with the Jordan. NBA logos on the side. Control panel looks awesome. You can see on the front plate, we call it, Rocks Arcade. I basically took that logo, split it. Put it in between the 23 and awesome. And then the last thing is the kick plate. This is awesome. Found a great picture of MJ, which again, it's very difficult to find a good picture of MJ, to be brutally honest. Got these two Chicago Bulls with the nice pinstripe kind of lining. And then right at the edge, at the top, you do have Chicago Bulls with like this smoke. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I did suggest white tea molding, and I think it was a great idea. I was gonna suggest black, um, but in all honesty, after I did the the 20, 27 inch um, Magic the Gathering black, I don't think I would suggest black ever again because on the T-molding, when I hammered it, you actually would see little indents on black. It was only black. White, you don't see like any scuff marks. White looks perfect. Any other color, chrome, it looks good, but black, I did notice like it would leave like a little bit of a shiny residue in. I don't think I would ever suggest black again. But again, we got the 32 inch upright, Pandora's box, 4,500 games, control panels on 32 inches. I will always, now, forever and ever, I'm going to be putting the dedicated four ways. That is just a, that's a definite, it's happening. I get too many people that just don't either watch the videos or they don't understand about dedicated eight way, I should say, the eight way joysticks. Playing Pac-Man on this joystick is brutal you will need the dedicated four-way. So it's either gonna be dedicated four-way or trackball in the middle for any future 32s. I will always do the dedicated four-way. It just looks awesome. People just come up to it and like, whoa, pricing is the same, so it doesn't matter. I would rather give you the dedicated four-way. I wanna mention pricing is the same, meaning if you wanted just two players only or the dedicated four-way, adding the trackball will be another additional fee because the trackball costs money. But again, all in all, great looking cabinet, 32 inch. Oh, turn off the garage lights. Okay. Always got the LED glow on it. So we got the illuminated kick plate, marquee. We even have the back glow on this. Always looks awesome. Got the LED buttons on this set to fade. Turns on whenever there's red activated on the LED strip. So I did red because the bowls are red and red looks awesome. It's also pretty cool because of the marquee. It's got like the translate effect. So 
usually blacks behind like with LEDs you kind of get like a cool kind of glow you'll see like that right there just gives like a really cool glow but again rocks arcade again as always clean wiring obviously again LED strip you can see where I tap off to my LED strip into my LED buttons here um, you do see the new remote for the insignia so again it is a smart TV uh, might as well talk about right now the smart TV and the basically the 32 inch TV so big thing is I'm actually gonna pull the plug I'll, I'll hit the switch on this this way you can kind of see and I will be making a tutorial video but basically what's great about the Pandora's boxes and how I do usually like my TV setups is that once you give it power I just like it that everything turns on so the TV as you can see right now automatically turns on and again this right now is set to T uh, store mode um, again the one downside to being in store mode that I notice is that there is no way to adjust the picture size I'm gonna show you real quick uh, again Pandora's box on this TV also is 1080p so that is another advantage whereas my other ones were 720p but this is 1080p. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Some people might notice this, some people might not. When it comes to retro gaming, not many people will notice it, but because this is in store mode, I can't adjust the like stretch on this. So you can kind of see on the edging here, like the Pandora's box logo is cut. Um, so in all honesty, on a couple of games, like Street Fighter, the top of it is cut. So if I do press like the either the home key or like the menu key. Oh, there it was. Got to hit the lines. See, I could change the picture, but I can't change the display size. That I can't do. If I was able to change that, I could basically set it to like fit. Whereas right now it's set to like a stretch. Um, so if I put in a coin real quick, let's just load up. I'll go to recent. I'll load up NBA Jam, which I was playing before. And then I'll show you what I mean by this kind of stretch. So on some games, uh, you will notice it on NBA Jam. So for example, here you see here, like that's not because of the bezel. That is because the screen is stretched. But if I do, let's say add um, coins and I'll insert more coins. You can see like, you see here, there's really supposed to be like four basketballs here. Um, so, you know, some people might see the stretch and be a little bit upset about it. Um, but again, the advantage to it being in store mode is that the TV will automatically boot on. Now I'll be posting basic tutorial because I will be using this TV because that is what it is. But basically when you press the three lines, you have to factory reset the TV. Um, it'll reset and then it'll ask you if you want to be in home mode and then it will let you adjust the displays. But other than that, it's not, it's not too bad. It's just me personally. I'm not a fan of like having to turn on the TV because now you got to like open up the control panel every time and turn on, you know, push the button. I'm personally not a fan of that. That's why I did like my insignia before. And honestly, I, I would leave it on store mode. Some people do want to use, they, you know, maybe get use out of the arcade, meaning you could play arcades or you could watch, you know, Netflix and all that. So, or you want to watch YouTube. So I do get the advantage of using like a smart TV. Um, but with that, it is a downside. See here, like it's supposed to say insert coins. Again, it is a little bit of a stretch. It's not, it's not that awful. Let me see if I could get a bucket real quick. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I'm playing it one-handed. Um, but yeah, there you go. Two player Pandora's box 18S Pro going out to Connecticut. Al, awesome. I really hope you enjoy your cabinet, bro. Again, advantages to every system. Pandora's box. Um, shout out to the green room. Found out this game, Soul Calibur. And we got Kratos in this. Again, it is a PSP game. So I do try to show off like different games. Um, again, Pandora's box, PSP emulation on this. Which looks, looks pretty cool. Can't lie. Bones volume. I got the baby sleeping. It's 2 a.m. now. <laughs> today right now <laughs> again arcade sticks it's just more about like figuring out what button does what Oof. I never got into Soul Calibur but this one's pretty cool because we got Kratos in this 
So you can even see here, like I said, with the stretch, the timer is out of the way. Again, if I do remove the home, uh, the store mode, you do lose the feature of the TV being able to turn on on its own. Can I hit her off the platform? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> cool. Not bad. See that? You got some Soul Calibur, so I'll hold player one start. Press B to exit out. I was even playing some NBA Live 99 for the N64 because I was looking at like basketball themed stuff when I shoot the promo video. Um, but again, a Pandora's box build showing off some different games other than the usual Street Fighters and all that. It's more about like when you get into this, like you have to kind of figure out, you know, what button does what, pressing start. This is cool. NBA Live 99. Again, it is the N64 game. Let's see how it plays. Oh, wow, I'm way off. Okay. With Rodman, okay. <laughs> oh, Pippen. Oh, awful shot. Oh my God. <laughs> One handed. That's pretty cool. This is 99 Bulls and we got basically star Chicago Bulls team on this. This is awesome. Cool. Again, just trying to show off some different games only because, you know, Pandora's box, I am getting a lot of requests. So for example, like Al was like, what Mario games are on this? And sure enough, this does have Super Nintendo. Uh, I believe this is Mario, uh, just basic Super Mario World. And it's cool. And again, it's set to coin mode, full screen stretch. I mean, it's it's awesome. Again, Pandora's box, you cannot go wrong. He has a Pandora's box. And I even asked him to load up his Pandora's box to tell me what version he had. But he was like, nah, my version's like old. And he never really told me which one he had. But I'm enjoying some Mario right now. Just gotta kind of figure out what button is what. We got the run. Oof. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, there you go. Rocks Arcade coming out, delivering tomorrow to Connecticut early in the morning. Vic VP, Game Case Arcade, another 32 inch smart TV build in the books.